Hello and welcome to Teeny Beat Tarot. Thank you for joining me and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today is a pick a card reading to do with what would suit you for work or a job. I hope you guys enjoy. If there are ever any requests, you guys can let me know in the comments. You can tell me I would appreciate if you guys told me how I did like accuracy wise I like a scale of 1 to 10 1 being this is this is stupid why am I here to 10 being oh my gosh this is this is spot on um that would be that would be awesome if I could get some feedback as well um <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here it means it means the world. I really do appreciate it. I absolutely adore doing this. This makes me so happy. But anywho, I will give you some time to think, meditate. Um, you can meditate on the cards, crystals, letters, whatever. Whatever suits you. You do you. And I'm going to shut up. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, so let's see. All right, so for A, this is a, a bit odd. Uh, honestly, I'm getting a very maternal energy coming on here with these two, with the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting very nurturing, very um, grounded, and... Just, I'm getting very nurturing, and I'm feeling like it has to do with the family situation. This is about happiness and marriage and celebration, like graduation, maybe a birth, an engagement, a marriage. Um, it could be many things. And then in regards to work or a job because being a mother can be a job, I mean, it is a job, constantly working. But anyways, um, I'm gonna continue with this, I, I got something else but I'm going to continue with this, and then I'll give the other thing that I got. And then we also have the Ten of Pentacles, and that's about, like, completion and everything coming, coming to be in 3D. And I've got the Nine of Cups, which is about bringing in an offer, and, like, um... And I'm feeling like this offer is the Four of Wands... Um, so I'm feeling like you might be a stay-at-home mom, or not necessarily, well, stay-at-home doesn't necessarily mean you're staying at home, but I'm feeling like you do a lot with your family. It's a big family commitment here. This is just a big family commitment. 
I mean, you got your children, which brings so much happiness, so much passion. You're really passionate about your family. You love your family. You will rejoice in them. You will, you will rejoice in their love and their positivity. You will do everything in your power to make sure that they all they are all all right. That they that everything is going well for them. And I'm feeling like you kind of forget about yourself. And you kind of just put yourself to the side, which is recognition and reward. I don't think you're necessarily looking for recognition and reward, but I feel like you're not receiving, like, and you're not, you're just, I don't want to go with taking and being taken advantage of because you, you want to do this. So if you feel like you're being taken advantage of, then you shouldn't be doing it. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think you're feeling like you're being taken advantage of because you want to be doing this. I just feel like you kind of exhaust yourself. You kind of go way above and beyond. And you need to take some time to balance that out because you, you're you constantly giving and constantly nurturing and constantly giving out your, um, your nurturing energy and your healing energy to everyone else. And you're just kind of... I think you feel good overall, but you do get tired and... You do want you want a little bit more balance for yourself. A little bit more time for yourself. And I feel like it's getting kind of to the point where people are just kind of expecting it and you might be kind of losing your passion a little bit. The passion might be I mean, the passion's there because it's for your family. It's about your family. You adore your family. It's there. But I'm feeling like you're kind of slowly losing you. So maybe this night is telling you to take, um, to somehow re amp this relationship, this, um, these relationships with whomever you're having these relationships, maybe, maybe it's time to move or do something different. I don't, I don't want to say move because moving isn't going to change how you're feeling. Moving isn't going to do anything other than just bring all your other problems to a new location. <laughs> So, for a job, like, I'm saying, I'm like, okay, I did say that there was something else that did pop up, so I'll go to that one. Um, what came up was, um, landscaping type work, like, being outside in construction and doing things outside. I mean, you've got very, you've got a lot of greenery, you've got a lot of outdoorsiness going on. Especially in these three cards. I mean, you still have it over here too, but it's very strong over here. So I'm getting maybe something to do with physical labor. Um, building up foundations. So for a job. Yeah. But I'm not feeling you're overly passionate about it. Like, I know Passion Ignited is here. And so it's Rejoice and Celebration. But I'm feeling these two cards are what's coming up. Like, you need some balance because you're feeling like you're doing all this work. And you're not getting rewarded for it. I don't think you're overly passionate about it, but you want to be. Or maybe this is just where you are right now. You're just kind of like, you're not feeling too hot about where you are right now. And this, this, um, construction or 
outdoorsy type of situation is going to really connect you to yourself and you're going to be able to feel who you are again and it's going to ignite this this love and this passion and this inspiration and you're going to celebrate you're gonna I feel like there's gonna be a celebration of this of this job you're going to really enjoy it you're gonna be able to move past this and embody all of this to have a fun loving time and have a really good time while you're doing it so something to do with outdoors landscaping maybe I'm, construction I'm not quite sure I mean there's probably a gazillion other things that you do outside but those are the two things that I think of when I think of outdoor labor so you can let me know you can give me some more um, things on what that could be as in like outdoorsy type stuff um i'm feeling it has to do with like you're in the dirt not just like water type outdoor i'm feeling like you're working with the earth which is why i'm feeling like it could also be the family thing because very grounded family situation i'm i don't know i feel like if it has to do with the family it's a very good it's very good um I feel like for the most part, because you're not always going to get along, but for the most part, everyone is very loving towards each other, um, very kind and compassionate. There's a lot of respect in this family. And then if it doesn't have to do with family, it's to do with being outdoors and building things up. I really do feel like you're building something up, and I, I feel like you're actually physically building something. <laughs> and I feel like that's um, it's going to give you some spark. Maybe the uh, um, drawn up blueprints and that kind of stuff, or looking at the blueprints, gives you ideas to hey, I kind of I'm into building, or I'm into creating workshop, woodworking, um, whatever. I don't really know, but I'm gonna. I'm going to end this now, and I'm going to say thank you, and I really do appreciate you guys joining me. I hope this resonated. I know it was a bit odd, um, but thank you very much. I hope you'll like and subscribe, and you'll leave me a comment letting me know how this went for you. Much appreciation for you joining me. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Have a lovely rest of your day. Alrighty, let's go to B. guys are doing fantastic. <laughs> okay. So, your job. So, ooh, okay, you've got a lot of ideas. You have got many ideas coming in constantly. Ooh, I feel like your mind is constantly going. You're constantly having a new creative idea, wanting to start something new. Wow, okay, you're, you're very, you, you think a lot. Not to say that's a bad thing or anything like that, but um, what you should be doing, not should be, but what would suit you? Huh. 
artistry of some sort. I don't know what you do, what your medium is, what, what your artistic outlet is, but definitely artistic. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I am also getting, I'm getting a couple things from this right here. Um, I'm feeling like right now, your situation, you're in a job where you are ready to get out of it. You're ready to move right on. <laughs> You're, you're learning to you're learning your own limits you're learning your own boundaries you're learning where you where you're standing like where it is to put your foot down and I feel like you're ready just to move on you've been contemplating moving on sacrificing this job so that you can move forward into something better I do feel like that has been a reoccurring thought for you of maybe I should move and I feel like it's time to be honest with yourself to truly go within and be honest with what you want when it comes to this do you want to leave do you truly want to leave are you scared to leave if you're scared to leave why are you scared to leave you need to look within you need to find some union with yourself you got to find you got to find some honest union within yourself um i feel like that will help you immensely with whatever this whatever's going on over here this decision or this feeling of wanting to move on but I feel like you're also being you feel like you're kind of stuck like you're learning your limits but you're still kind of stuck even though there is this energy and it's pushing you forward it's pushing you along and you feel it you you feel it but I feel like there's something that you need to just you need to let go of something because it's holding you back um once you let go of it, I feel like you are going to meet new people who are going to spark some adventure. You're going to meet some new, not necessarily meet new people, but you're going to experience new things that are going to bring in more creativity, more adventure. And I feel like a lot of this is just in your head. You think a lot. You constantly are having ideas. You're constantly going through things that seem fun to you. But you don't really ever, like, bring it to the material. You don't really ever do that. Um, you just kind of stay in your head. But this job, I feel like this opportunity, once you, once you have moved on, once you have set your limits, put up your boundaries, um, I feel like not even necessarily moved on but you've got yourself in a sturdy situation where you're not kind of like I want to move on I want to move forward right now but I can't because I'm scared um, <laughs> once you get over that I feel like I'm not even saying you have to leave this job or the situation just once you emotionally move on from it you will be able to bring in this new creative spark this new passion you're gonna you're gonna you're, you're gonna find you're gonna experience this and it's going to bring in so much abundance you're gonna be bringing in everything to yourself you're gonna be bringing in the prosperity you're gonna be bringing in the love the creativeness the joy you're gonna be experiencing so many emotions this job brings you so much love it brings you so much happiness and I feel like this is on your own terms this is this is you know what you want and you're going to do it how you want to do it because you're tired of working and putting up with other people it's time for you to step into your your power your creative power um, so that you can have a creative outlet that's not only going to just bring you this happiness and continuously this cre these creative ideas, but it's also going to bring you prosperity. It's going to bring you into a better state of being. But before you can get there, you have to do the work. You have to also, it's not like you're just going to snap out of the, these negative emotions. You're going to have to work on easing that pain, easing those negative emotions. So you gotta talk yourself up. You can't, I mean you can, but um, 
you can't just continue to be that way and continue to be in that state of mind but it's not going to get you anywhere you really got to look at yourself and be honest with yourself and realize man i'm not as happy as i could be i'm not as happy as i want to be i want this i want i want to be the queen of cups i want to listen to myself i want to listen to my gut i want to listen to my emotions i want to feel and i want to be able to express how i feel and i feel like you're going to be able to express how you feel not only through this creative um ideas not through not just through these creative ideas but through yourself like let's say you make music or you paint you're not just going to constantly be painting you're going to be able to express yourself to other people as well once once you get out of this you'll be able to be experiencing this which is not going to matter what anyone else has to say because you are going to be fully in yourself fully in love with your life with yourself with your job so I feel like this is to do with art, very much to do with art, or at least something that keeps you in a creative state. So maybe working with children, possibly? I don't, I don't think so at all. I don't think that, but maybe, I mean, maybe for some people, because I don't think a teacher, I'm not thinking a teacher, I'm thinking something where I do feel children, but I'm not feeling like a teacher. I'm feeling like maybe a music teacher, okay? Maybe an art teacher. Okay, that makes sense. Um, or maybe, like, you go down to a recreational center or something and you have puzzles and you color and that kind of stuff. I really don't know what it has to do with other than it is creative. It brings you into your emotions. It really lets you have an outlet. And it feels good. And I feel like you're ready. I feel like you're really ready to move forward with it. So you know, I'm really, I'm, you know, I'm really happy for you guys. Like this is really awesome. I feel, I feel like it's really up to you on the specifics of this. Like for me, I like. I mean, <laughs> there's many things, so I can't just say one thing. But for me, I like to paint. I like to draw. And I love I love to sing. I may not be the best at all of them, but I absolutely love them. I love tarot. I love doing this. And I mean, those are all very, very different things, but they are all creative. So I feel like that is going to be personal taste on what you decide to do I'm not gonna say oh you're gonna be a musician because I feel like it could be any number of creative things but anyway so that's what that would suit you something that keeps your mind in a creative state keeps you feeling good and something that you can where you can express yourself and you don't have to worry about being called being too sensitive because you're not too sensitive at all. You're human. Humans are sensitive to begin with. We are very emotional beings. I mean, that's what I mean. We we live from our emotions. So it's just kind of like you gotta find somewhere. You gotta find something if you're gonna be working with other people. You gotta find someone where people understand that humans are humans. Humans have emotions. <laughs> oh, sorry. And it is okay to express those emotions. Whether you're sad or you're angry or you're happy, it is perfectly acceptable to express those emotions. And you, you, you gotta find some place, if you're gonna work with people, as I said, that is gonna be accepting of that. So there you go, B. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching that. I hope you'll like and subscribe. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you a million times. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. Alrighty, let's go to C. Hey, that 
makes quite a bit of sense. Hello, Letter C. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Um, <laughs> here, let's see, let's see, let's see. I actually kind of have a very good sense of what this is. So, for you, your job. You, you like, you like, um, you don't like routine. I'm going to go with that. You don't, you don't care for routine. You care for, um, having a good time, having a fun time. I mean, well, I'm not, yes, everyone wants to have a fun time. I'm not going to say fun time. I'm going to say you want something that... gives you many options and doesn't keep you in one place. It's a, uh, you're, you're moving a lot. Um, well, you're not necessarily moving, you're traveling a lot. Or that's what you want. I feel like you want to be traveling a lot. You want to see the world. You want to experience all that is. All that, that all that the world has to offer, you want to experience it all, and you want to you want a job, something that gives you this, that gives you the many opportunities. Maybe a flight attendant, um, where you're just constantly you're seeing new things. You want to see new things. You want to experience the world through a different light. Um, I'm feeling. And something where you're helping people. You really, you really like to help people. You really like to do for others. It's something that you enjoy. It brings you happiness. It brings you good feeling. Good feelings. Like, you enjoy it. You do. You, you like helping people. And with the new beginnings, I've, I'm getting, like, I'm getting, I'm getting a sense of travel. Every, every stop is a new beginning. And I feel like you're going to have very, very many of them because you don't want to stay in one place. You don't want to sit still. You want to, you want to be going places and you want to be helping people. Maybe, maybe missionary work. I really, I don't know. Maybe you're helping people around the world. Um... I'm feeling like this is just something that's been with you since you were little. Like, this has been something, like, for a long time you've been wanting to do this. You've been wanting to help. It's just something that's always been with you. And, yeah, like, you want to help people. You want to, you want, you want to help. But you also don't want to sit still. Because, I mean, I could say you could be a guidance counselor, you could be a therapist, you could be a doctor. You could be a bunch of different things, but I'm getting the sense that you want to constantly have new adventures. And you don't want to sit still. You want things to constantly be happening. Not constantly be happening, but you want movement. You want to... You wanna, you want to go places. You want to do things. You want to you want to spread as much positivity and happiness and joy as you can. You want to help as many people as possible. And you want to do as much as possible. Go as many places as possible. Maybe you're a doctor who's traveling. I don't I don't know, but you want to help. You want to make a change. You want to make a significant change. So I'm feeling traveling Maybe you're a pilot. I don't. I don't get the, that sense. Um, but definitely traveling. I'm getting traveling most certainly. You want to travel, but you also want to be around people. You want to make alliances and you want to meet people. But and you want to help them. You want to do the best that you can for them. That's very kind. <laughs> This is, this, I like this. This is really, this is really sweet. So helping people and moving, not really sitting still is what you, what would suit you is just moving and helping. <laughs> um, anything else want to pop out? 
and I'm getting the sense that it's really never gonna end for you. You're just constantly gonna want to be doing something to help someone. I feel like that's kind of been like your life. You've just constantly been wanting to help people. You've constantly been helping people. And you like it. You enjoy it. I don't. I don't think there's any issues with you helping people. Cause some people help people to get something in return, and those people who they're helping don't know that they want something in return. So those people who are doing for others get all upset because they're not getting anything back. Like they're not they're doing stuff in order to get something back, but they don't bother to let anyone know that that's what they're doing. So they get all upset. I'm under the impression you really don't care about getting anything in return you just want to help it's all about helping it's all about being true to yourself feeling feeling your feeling what you want to do going within your heart and expressing your love for life and love for others like that's what you want to do you just want to express your love you want to you want to give out your love and that is that is something special. <laughs> you know, thank you so much for joining me. I hope I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll like and subscribe as well. Um and let me know let me know how I did. Like <laughs> that would be nice too. <laughs> yes. Uh, you <laughs> You guys are awesome. You know, just thank you so much for joining me. I hope this resonated. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Rest of your day. <laughs> this means so much to me. I love doing this. I really appreciate... I mean, I know I say it a lot, but I really do. Like, just my heart just is just... Ooh, just expanding and I just I love it so much just thank you have a spectacular day I much appreciate you guys thank you so much